This video clip is going to cover lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. And the instructions read, find the trigonometric values for each expression. And then in parentheses it says degree mode. And I put that there just to remind you to have your calculator in degree mode for this exercise. So before I even begin, I am going to make sure I am in that right mode. So I'm going to hit the mode button. And then I'll notice third row down. It says radian or degree. I want to make sure that my degree is highlighted because that will turn the degree mode on and I need to do that. So it's a good thing I checked. So arrow over, hit enter, and you'll see that radian is not highlighted anymore and now degree is. So I'm all set to go. So hit second mode or it will be quit is the second function to go back to my home screen. And I'm just going to type in these expressions now because it will interpret the 30 when I type it in as a degree measure. So that's sine 30 degrees, sine 30, hit enter, and it comes out to be 0.5. So let's type in, I'm going to skip to the third one here, which is, no, I'll skip to the last one since it's a different trig function, tangent. So I'm going to type in the tangent of 30, hit enter, and I have an approximation for that one. So I'm going to copy down my answers this one is 0 0.5 and then the tan of 30 was 0 0.5773502292 and I squeezed it in there. Alright so go ahead and complete the rest of lesson practice number one and lesson practice number two and make sure that you are in degree mode. In this video clip, we are going to cover lesson practice number one from set two from this section of the notes. And the instructions read, find an angle measure for each expression in the interval zero degrees is less than equal to x, less than equal to 90 degrees. The calculator needs to be in degree mode. So let's go ahead and check the mode of our calculator right now. And I am in degree mode. Degree should be highlighted. Make sure yours is. I'm going to hit second mode to quit this screen to go back to my home screen to start these calculations. Now before I enter anything into the calculator, I'm going to show one step in the work over here. Because unlike the section of notes before where they gave us the degree measure and all we had to do was type in sine 30 degrees or cosine 45 degrees or tangent 60 degrees, whatever the angle measure was, that's all we had to do is type in what we saw. I am not going to type this expression into my calculator. The expression that I'm going to, going to type in my calculator is this. I'm going to type in sine inverse because we do not have the angle. We kind of need to go backwards to get the angle. But this is what I'm going to type in my calculator, and this will give me my answer. So, in order to use or bring up this function, uh, the inverse sign, sine inverse, I hit second sign. And you'll notice this little negative one, kind of like the negative one that I wrote right here. And now all I have to do is plug in this decimal. So 0 0.8660. Close my parentheses, hit enter. And it comes out with this approximation for the angle measure. And I'll write that down in a second. So let's go ahead and complete the tangent. And again, let's show what we're going to type in our calculator. Tangent inverse of this decimal right here. And so let's type that into our calculator. Second tan to bring up the tangent inverse, 1.7321, parentheses, or close my parentheses, hit enter, and there's my approximation for that one. So let's copy down our answers right now. So our answer for the first one was 59.9970807, and then our answer for this last one was 60, 0 0.007, oh, forgot one zero there. Sorry about that. So we have 0 0 0 007 0 0461. So go ahead 
or finish lesson practice number one and complete lesson practice number two.